This demo is going to teach you how to set up Reaper so that you can record your script. And then I'll have a demo that shows me recording my script, making mistakes, some strategies that I'll use to help cover up those mistakes, and edit those mistakes out. So in order to record audio here, I want to make sure I'm set to 60 beats per second. So I have seconds here at the top. I'm going to double click on the track so that I can add a track. Depending on your computer system, what shows up here will change when you press the record enable track. My system has a bunch of analog inputs along with other inputs. Your system might only have one or two. If you're using the computer's audio, it might just say mic. But with mine, I'm going to choose analog one because that's where my microphone is connected to. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off monitor so that I don't monitor my input. Now the signal coming into the track is not being repeated out the output. That may make the recording sound clear when you're monitoring it. There's a couple of other settings that you might want to use at different times, not in this project, but in other projects. From this point on, I'll record my script that's down here, and I'll make mistakes while I'm reading it, and I'll give you some strategies how you can correct those mistakes while you're reading a script so that the editing is easier. So to begin recording, I want to make sure the track is armed. It is. And I'll press the recording button, and then I'll start reading. Have you ever wanted to eat healthily without compromising on taste? I don't like that word. It shouldn't be healthy. healthily. It should be healthy. To eat healthy without compromising on taste? Let me try that again. To eat healthy without compromising... To eat healthy without... Comp to eat healthy without comping... Yeah. To eat healthy without compromising on taste? Now you notice when I read that, I read a few words in front of the word I wanted to correct so that I have some sound just before healthily so I can replace it with healthy. So that's one of the strategies I'd recommend. And that is that when you uh, record and you make a stumble, don't start at the stumble. Start a few words ahead of the stumble. Back to the script. Well, now you can. New subs have arrived at Subway restaurants. I'll take that again. Well, now you can. New subs have arrived at Subway. New subs. New subs have arrived at. Sub new subs have arrived at Subway. I'm having trouble saying at Subway restaurants, so I'm just going to start by saying at Subway restaurants. At Subway restaurants. There are a variety of items available which you can choose from to create. There are a variety of items available which you can choose from. You can choose from to create a low fat sub that's just right for you. To create a create a low create a low fat sub that's just right for you. That's just right for you. See, by including some words here, it'll give us an easier edit. The new low-fat subs make eating healthier easy. So, the new low-fat subs. The new low-fat subs make eating healthier easier than ever. Let's try that again. Make health eating healthy easier than ever. Eating healthy easier than ever. Subway, eat fresh. Okay, so those are a few bad stumbles. Now let's get in and start making some edits. Have you ever wanted to eat healthily without compromising on taste? I don't like that word. It's, so let's go ahead and edit that out. And let's listen to the second recording I have. To eat healthy without compromising on taste. Okay, that's... A, to eat healthy without compromising. To eat healthy without comp. 
to eat healthy without comp to eat healthy without compromising on taste. So I got a good one here and a good one here. To eat healthy without compromising on taste. To eat healthy without compromising on taste. They're both the same, so I'm going to use the first one. And let me zoom in so I can put the cursor right in front of the sound. And then I'll put the cursor right after the phrase. And then I can zoom in and find the word to without compromising on. Ever wanted to eat healthily? Ever wanted to eat healthily without compromise? So two. Ever wanted to eat? So two is down here now. I noticed that I didn't say to eat. I said do eat. Ever wanted to eat health? So that T here to eat health to eat health might not match well, but let's see what happens. So I'll separate that. Now remember when you delete something, you can always reveal it again. So your initial edits don't have to be terribly precise. And then I'm going to zoom in so I can see what's going on as well. Let's get rid of that crossfade here. Have you ever wanted to eat to eat health? So to eat to eat. So the two is right in there. Let's see if I can. Wanted to eat. Wanted to eat help. Wanted to eat. Wanted to. Wanted to eat. Wanted to. I hear an eat sort of sound there. Let's see what it sounds like this way. Wanted to eat health. Wanted to eat health. That sounds like two different takes. Wanted to eat healthy. So I don't think I can use the T. Wanted to eat healthy. This H may work well instead. Let's just see what happens when I combine these two sounds together. Wanted to eat health. Wanted to eat health. Yeah, there's issues that way. Let's just keep working on it. Wanted to eat healthy. Yeah, that doesn't work either. Wanted to eat healthy without. But the H seems to work well. So I'm going to use. Go back to the beginning and edit all this stuff out. Zoom back in. And I'm going to put this and this towards the beginning of the track. It's a 30 second track. Have you ever wanted to eat healthy without compromising on taste? So that's my first phrase. This, I think, is all to eat healthy without not needed. So uh, let's see, that's just my commentary when I was talking to you guys before. Let me drag this up close on taste. So that's one of the strategies I'd let's recommend. Let's see, let's find and out. That is, and you make a stumble back to the script. All right, so that I remember saying that. All right. Well, now you can. New subs have arrived at Subway restaurants. Take that again. Well, now you can. I like new that one better. Arrived at sub new subs. New subs have arrived at sub Okay, well, I like this one better than this one. Well, now you can. Well, now you can. So I'm going to get in there. And remember, I'm gonna, I need to make sure I zoom in and... Get rid of any sounds at the beginning. I want generally when you're editing, uh, when you're editing words, uh, you will have sharp cuts at the beginning. Not always, but most of the time. And then the end, you can go ahead after the last word is spoken. You can have a little bit of uh, 
silence afterwards to catch all the nuances of the consonant. And if you have to fade it out, you can that way. Well, now you can. New subs have arrived at Sabu. New subs. None of these new sound subs good. Have arrived at, let's see. New subs have arrived at Subway. I'm having trouble saying at Subway restaurants, so I'm just going to start by saying at Subway restaurants. At Subway restaurants. There are a variety. Okay, so I got a at Subway restaurants. Okay, so that. I can use here the beginning. New subs have arrived at Sabu. All right. Which one do I like? That one. New subs have arrived at Sub. New subs have arrived at Sub. Okay. Which one sounds the most natural? New subs have arrived at. New subs have arrived at. That's. New subs have arrived at Sabu. This one sounds good till I get to Subway. So I'm going to use. This first one at Subway restaurants. And then we'll see about how I can put that one together with this other one. So I'm just clicking and splitting and getting rid of anything that I want. Oh, by the way, if you felt like you wanted to get a hold of that later on, you can drag it to another track, mute it, and then um, it makes finding different spots easier. I'm not going to need that, I don't think, but that's a technique that you can use. Arrived at Subway. At Subway. All right, so let's now zoom in here. Arrived at Subway. There's a at. Arrived at Subway. So. Arrived at Subway. This at. Arrived at Subway. That at doesn't have a strong T. This one does. At Subway. Right? At Subway restaurants. Well, not really either. Let's see what happens when I put it arrived at Subway right about here. So I'm going to bring that down, bring that together. Arrived at Subway restaurants. Well, that doesn't work. Arrived at Subway. Arrived at Subway. Yeah. Right at Subway restaurants. Okay, I don't think that's going to be a good uh, point, but that's one reason why I recorded words before and afterwards. So last time that H provided me a great sound. Let's see what happens at Subway if that S is going to be good. So let's see if I have an S recorded here. I think that's right there. Arrived at, at Subway. Okay, that's an S, and that's an S. So let's see what happens when I put them together. Arrived at Subway restaurants. Arrived at Subway restaurants. That works pretty well, except that this sounds a little louder than it should be. Let's split that. I'll double click on it, and I'll take my volume, and I'll turn it down a couple, three decibels. At Subway restaurants, subs have arrived at Subway restaurants. New subs have arrived at Subway restaurants. That sounds natural. So now I can zoom out again. You can choose from to create a low-fat sub that's just right for you. Okay, that's a good take of that. I still may use create a low-fat sub that's just right for you. The last part of that phrase just sounds a little bit better. Which you can choose from. So let me click in front of this. Click at, and then I'll just make this smaller, work together, and start click right in front of it. Zoom in. Variety of items available, which you can choose. You can choose. So there's my ch sound. Lots of times the ch will work well. Which you can choose. Okay, let's see if that chew works well. It may not because it's got a little bit of tone in it. Items available which you can cho choose from. To
that sub that's just right available, which you can choose from to create a... Yeah, there's a little bit of problem is that Chew has a O sound in it as well. Available, which you can choose from to... But the from might work well. So let me try using this and let's find the from. You can choose... So there's a nice F sound. You can choose... Let me zoom in a little more. You can choose... So there's the little F sound. And this spot is the um of... The rum from... From from. From the creek. So there's another from... And you'll notice that both of these sections that I'm getting ready to make the edit are fairly low in amplitude. That can help you with your edit. So let me get into that and then drag this. Whoops, don't need that yet. Choose from to create a available which you can choose from to create a low fat sub that's just right for you all right so that works except this is just a little bit loud so I'll double click on it and bring down the the amount I wish you could type a decibel amount here but you can't so I'll hit apply you can choose from to create a low fat sub this all right now there's another spot that might be a great place for an edit because it is low in amplitude we bring this other next track over here that's just right for you okay that's just right so that's a just just right so let's find the just here. It's just right. So that's almost the just. Probably it's here. Just right for you. Yeah. So I'll click there. S. Get rid of that. Uh, that's just right. Okay. I'll get rid of that, and we'll marry these two. Sub. Uh, that's just right for you. All right. That's just right. That's just right for you. No, I don't like that one. That works. So we go S, and then we just need to keep deleting information. Including some words here. It'll Okay, that was my commentary to you guys. The new low-fat subs make eating healthier easy. All right, so let's hear how that sounds. There are a variety of items available which you can choose from to create a low-fat sub that's just right for you. That sounds clean. Now let me zoom back out. The new low-fat subs make eating healthier easy. So, the new low-fat subs. The new low-fat subs make eating healthier easier than ever. Let's try that again. Make health. Eating healthy easier than ever. Eating healthy easier than ever. Subway. Eat. All right, well, I don't hear anything that's much better than this right here. The new low-fat subs make eating healthier easier than ever. So I'm just going to use that because I didn't hear anything better. If I, was, if I was producing me, I would have said, do that again, Scott. for you the new low-fat subs now you'll notice uh, it's I, just right for you you can hear the sound stopping so let me do a little bit of fade out there uh, it's just right for you uh, it's just right for you I think that might have been me breathing from my nose uh, it's just right for you the new low-fat subs make let's see I hear something funky going on. I don't think it'll, you'll hear it in the music bed, but uh, it's just right for you. The new. All right. Uh, it's just right for you.
that worked, okay? So the new low-fat subs make eating healthier easier than ever. I guess I need to work on my allergies easier than ever. Let's go ahead and get rid of that and add a little bit of fade out here. Click on it and zoom in. Whoops. There's the sound I'm getting rid of. Than ever. Than ever. Than ever. But that works. Than ever. Okay. And again, the music bed is going to cover up that sound. But Make health... Okay, I didn't like any healthy, of this stuff. Easier than Eating healthy easier than ever. Subway, eat fresh. All right, that works. Because I think that's all I have. Okay, so those... Are, and that was my commentary. Subway. And I might want to change the timing of that a little bit. Because I'm noticing that my whole bed is about six seconds shorter than the 30 second spot that I want. So um, now I'm going to bring in a music bed. 